Who doesn't love a good burger? But how many of you have tried a healthy burger? I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious beetroot burger, which is full of great things, lots of healthy ingredients, and is super simple to make. And it starts off in a pan with a little drop of oil. I've got some rapeseed oil going in here, and we're gonna fry off some onions and a little bit of garlic. So straight in there with some red onion. Give that a quick stir around the pan. To this, I'm gonna add a touch of garlic. The core ingredients to these beetroot burgers is of course beetroot, but I also have a selection of veggies. And this is a great one because you can sneak in so many good vegetables into this fantastic burger mix. I've got courgettes, which I've grated up just on a box grater. I've got beetroots and I've also got some carrots. So get them straight into the pan. This is a great combination of vegetables. Lots of good things going on here. Just let these fry out for about five to 10 minutes just until they reduce down and all the moisture comes out. So, while they're reducing away, I'm gonna mix up a combination of chickpeas, porridge oats, and tahini in a processor like this. Porridge oats are gonna give us that long, sustained energy. Some tahini paste. This is a sesame seed paste, and it has a sweet, nutty flavor. And then finally, to bring this all together, I've got one egg going in here. So, crack a large free-range egg straight into this mixture. Get the mixer top on, and we're gonna go blitzing. Okay, we have a nice smooth mixture, porridge oats, chickpeas, and all those wonderful things. And scrape all of this into a big mixing bowl. This looks pretty good. Now, the one very important job you need to do is to squeeze out the liquid from all your vegetables. So take this off the heat and look at that. You can see the carrots, you can see the courgettes. They've all taken on that beautiful scarlet beetroot color and that makes all the difference in your beautiful burger. So transfer this into a colander. So I'm just gonna squeeze out any of the excess moisture here so I don't have any leftover water. Okay, we've got all the excess moisture out, so I'm gonna get rid of this, stick this mixture straight into our chickpea porridge and tahini mix, and now it's just a case of mixing this until it's nicely combined. This is looking pretty good, so now for some final touches, I'm gonna add in a pinch of sea salt and some black pepper, but I also wanna get in there with some herb action. I've got some coriander, which I have over here. I'm just gonna take a nice handful of beautiful coriander, give it a very fine chop here, and then get that straight in there, alongside some spring onion. I love the fact that you've got fresh coriander, you've got that lovely crunch of spring onions, and now it's just a case of mixing it all up. What I do love about these burgers is that even though they are completely meat free, they still look quite hearty and meaty and the colour in here is what it's all about. So this is now ready to be formed into burger patties. So I'm just going to scoop up what I would describe as not a beach ball, not a ping pong ball, but a tennis ball sized piece of burger mixture. And you want to just shape it into like a flat tennis ball sized piece of burger, just like this one. Huh? That looks pretty good. Six delicious beetroot burgers ready to be fried. Now, if you have the time, stick them in the fridge and let them firm up, but they can be fried straight away as well. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Pan straight on the heat, get a little bit of oil in there, and now we're gonna fry these off once this comes up to temperature. My beautiful beetroot burgers are just about ready to serve. To serve them up, I have some whole wheat buns, I have some avocado, and I have some hummus, and a little bit of crunch from some red cabbage. So I'm gonna just prepare up my avocado and slice up my buns, and then it's time to serve. We've got our bread, we've got our avocado, and now I'm gonna smear this with some lovely hummus. You can use whatever you fancy, but I think hummus works really well. So forget your ketchup, we're going hummus. So on top of the hummus, we've got to go burger. So turn off your heat. These lovely burgers are now ready to serve. And look at that. I mean, you would never know there's no meat in here. It's beautiful, it's thick, it's voluptuous, and it's bursting with flavor. So straight on top of the hummus. On top of the burger, I'm going in with a little bit of crunch from some red cabbage. Also, you get great color in there with the red cabbage. Speaking of color, we're going in there with a few slices of avocado. I'm gonna to top it off with some sprouts. 
and you can get these in any supermarket. They are a great injection of fresh, healthy flavor. So get them straight on top, stick on the lid, and try and keep everything together. I've lost a piece of avocado, but look at that. The healthiest burger you will ever come across. And now all that's left to do is get it into my mouth. So bear with me, my friends. Mm. That right there is one of the healthiest burgers you will ever come across, but it is so tasty. There's so much going on in there. You've got lovely texture, you've got sweet flavor, you've got that sort of meatiness that you wouldn't even expect from a healthy burger. It's so delicious. You have to try this recipe. It is in my brand new cookbook called Fresh. If you wanna check this out, order yourself a coffee. It's full of delicious recipes just like this one. Lots of things to get excited about in the kitchen. Click the link, the link is in the box below. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Happy burgers, my friends.